for Ashraf residents and instead tries to placate the Iranian regime. We urge the Iraqi government to end the psychological torture of Ashraf residents by removing the 180 loudspeakers around Ashraf. We urge the Canadian government to ensure Iraq understands its international obligations to protect Ashraf and make it abundantly clear that any future aid to Iraq is contingent upon respect for human rights and international obligations. The beginning of spring, a traditional celebration that has happened around the world. And I hope that you have remembered the important impacts that are happening in Iraq and in Ashraf. Happy Nowruz. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Nowruz is a, it can be a very happy time of the year to celebrate. It that in certain parts of the, the world, there's a culture and an ideology that wants not to go forward, but wants to go backwards. And um, that's why um, we are of like mind in this room about moving forward. And we all know about Madame Rajavi and the, the international organization about trying to bring human rights to uh, uh, the Persian culture. So I have some notes that I say that I want to wish you a happy and prosperous new year for all the Iranian people. Worldwide, it looks like the true winds of change are sweeping the whole Middle East, and we can only hope that it turns out well. Um, that not only includes the people of Iran, but you know, you have to add the countries around that were inspired by we, what we had witnessed as the uprising of the Iranian people that started quite some time ago. I want to highlight on this occasion the plight of the Iranian dissidents in Camp Ashraf. I've read an, an awful lot, seen many of videos of Camp Ashraf, and uh, they live under immense pressure, and more recently, uh, you know, uh, direct attacks, psychological 